Let's go ahead and get started this morning. We are so excited to have you here for South Charleston Public Library's Literacy and Learning Program. This week is Family Pet Tales. Hard to believe we're already at the last program of summer, which kind of makes us sad, but we've had such a good time seeing everybody online and when you come in to get your books. So we're really, really excited to have you with us. So before I forget, we've got Miss Meow Meows here. I'm Miss Denise. I'm Miss Annette. I miss Leslie. And I miss Olivia. So we are excited to have you with us. So as we get started today, just a few reminders. Olivia is monitoring our room today and she will be muting and unmuting and helping with things if other people come in a little bit later. Um, so usually we try not to let people in a lot later after we get started because we want, don't want to interrupt the program for everybody, okay? So as we get started again, we're going to start out like we always do. So Miss Olivia, you're on. Hi. If you're ready for a story, come sit down. If you're ready for a story, come sit down. Let's all gather near so everyone can hear. If you're ready for a story, come sit down. Yay! Very good. So again, we're talking about family pets tales this week. So I'm going to read you the first book called I Love Cats. Here we go. This book is called I Love Cats by, by Candlewick Press of Cambridge, Massachusetts. Look at how this book is called I Love Cats by Barney Salzberg by Candlewick Press of Cambridge, Massachusetts. Look at all these cats having fun. I love cats. Look at all these cats. Ooh. Stripey cats, spotted cats, cats that count drips. Look at him. Counting all that water. Climbing cats, scaredy cats, cats that do flips. Mm. Cats that chase shadows or curl up like a ball. Don't they look cozy all curled up like that? Tail or no tail. I love them all. See how different they all are? Some cats just yawn. Some cats just purr, some cats just watch, and some clean their fur. Have you ever seen a cat take a bath by herself? It's quite a feat. I love cats that hide. I love cats that bleep. Look at his little face popping out of there. I love cats that dream. Kitty dreams as they sleep. Oh, yes. It isn't their whiskers, their meow, or their mew. Look how loud his mew is. Oh. I love cats. How about you? So what a fun, fun story. So that's a, one of my favorite books because I really do love cats. I've got my kitty at home, Daisy May, and she she approved of this book. She went and sat on it and did some things, you know, did her usual perusing of all books I bring home. So she really enjoyed this, this story. So next up, we're going to have a song, and Miss Annette's going to lead us in our song. It's called the Meow Meow Song, and Yay! we have been doing... <laughs> we have been doing uh, the tune of the little green frog all summer long and just changing the words out. And as Miss Denise has trying to contain Meow Meow over there, this is her favorite song right now. So the second verse talks about fiddle D and we just kind of go like this. And you know how cats, sometimes they'll just snuggle up with you and just purr. But when they had enough, out comes the fiddle D. Yep. They just don't want to have anything to do with you. So this is the song, the Meow Meow song. Meow Meow went the tabby cat one day. Meow Meow went the tabby cat. Meow Meow went the tabby cat one day. And they all went meow, meow, meow. But we know cats go fiddle diddle dee. Fiddle diddle dee, fiddle diddle dee, we know cats go fiddle diddle dee, they don't go meow, meow, meow. Oh, Meow Meow loves that. Thank you, Ms. Annette. That was so much a fun, fun, fun song. So our second book is coming up and Miss Toby's going to read this one to us. I Love Dogs 
by Barney Salzberg and from Handelwick Press. I love dogs. Big dogs, little dogs, dogs that do tricks. Do any of your dogs do tricks? Can they sit or shake? Happy dogs, sleepy dogs, and dogs that chase sticks. I have a sleepy dog and then a dog that chases sticks. And the dog that chases sticks always wants to play, and the sleepy dog does not. Dogs that roll over, dogs that play ball. Short hair or furry, I love them all. Some dogs are quiet. Some dogs just bark, Ruff. some dogs just run, some play in the park. I love dogs that sit, I love dogs that stand, that's a pretty nifty trick. I love dogs that dig doggy holes in the sand. <laughs> it isn't their noses, their tails, or their paws. I love dogs just because. A sweet, sweet book. So if you're considering going to, or getting a cat or dog, you should try going to the animal shelter. There's so many great pets there and they need a home. And sometimes when you think you're choosing a pet, they're actually choosing you. That's right. So the letter I dog. I got a dog. Yeah. You do. It's D for dog. That's our letter. Bobo. Oh, that's your dog's name? Great. So we've been talking about dogs and cats today, and I'm sure some of us have dogs and cats, but some of us have imaginary friends of dogs, right? So, um, oops, we forgot the number of the day. I'm sorry, Leslie. Go back. So sorry. the number of the day is eight. Are we ready to count? We're going to clap, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. That's our number. Yay. So we had eight dogs, right? And dog starts with the letter D. So our word today doesn't have anything to do with dogs except the ones that we imagine, like our stuffed animals that we pretend that are real. So the secret code today is pretend with a capital P. So make sure you go to the portal and put in that secret code and get your next ticket towards the wall of prizes. So now we're getting ready to share with you our third book that Miss Olivia is going to read us. All right. The Stuffed Animals Get Ready for Bed by Allison Inches and illustrated by Brian Langdo, published by Harcourt, Inc. My stuffed animals are wild, not sleepy at all. Tumbling and twirling, they dance down the hall. They slide and they squeal. One stands on his head. How can I get these guys ready for bed? My furry panda goes scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Hush, furry panda, get out of the tub. My scruffy monkey bangs a pot on his head. Hush, scruffy monkey, hop into your bed. My polka dot pig plays electric guitar. Hush, dotted pig, wish on a star. My little red hen eats alphabet soup. Hush, little hen, climb into your coop. My fluffy kitten hides under the rug. Hush, fluffy kitten, give me a hug. My spotted cow sings songs to the lammies. Hush, spotted cow, put on your jammies. I wouldn't want to put on my jammies either. My slippery snake slithers and hisses. Hush, slippery snake, blow me some kisses. My velvety horse asks for some light. Hush, velvety horse, now say good night. Wow, these are some wild animals. My shaggy llama winds up his clock. Hush, shaggy llama, hush, hush, and tick tock. 
My scaly dragon stretches and yawns. Hush, scaly dragon, the curtains are drawn. The time has come to say your good nights. Hush, cuddly ones, turn out the lights. Now my stuffed animals are as safe as can be. Settled and quiet, they watch over me. Aw, look at that. Good night, sleep tight. Alrighty, wasn't that a lovely little book? Uh, sometimes people can't have animals. I know in my family, all of us are allergic to an animal or another, so we can't have cats or dogs, and that's why we have a snake. And in our uh, field trip Friday, you'll get to see our snakes, and you'll get to see uh, some of our staff members' other pets. So that's going to be pretty cool. But yeah. Yes, very, very good. So like Olivia said, sometimes we have stuffy animals instead of live animals. But I'm sure all of you have different animals that you keep as pets. So Dewey says, we've been talking about Dewey and how we organize books in the library. So Dewey says to learn more about animals for pets, go to 636 on the nonfiction side of the house and you'll find all kinds of animals there that you might want to learn a little bit about. Um, remember, anytime you're looking for facts, you go to numbers and facts are things about animals or whatever topic that you want to know more of the truth about, right? And, and specific information. And all of our fiction books are under letters by the author's last name. So as we talk about all that system of cataloging books, Ms. Annette's going to show you some more nonfiction books. Yes, we have these three nonfiction books that you might be interested in. Um, the first one is, on the left is called The House Pets, and it's written by Isabella Dudek. It's illustrated by Heinrich Keita, and it's published by Gareth Stevens Publishing. In the middle, there's a book called A Pet or Not, because sometimes we really would like to have a pet, but maybe we haven't thought about all of the reasons why we should get one, or maybe it's not the right time. So this one is called A Pet or Not. It's written by Alvin and Virginia Silverstein, and it's illustrated by their daughter, Laura Silverstein Nunn, and it's published by 21st Century Books. And then the one on the right is really a fun book. It's about all of the presidents and all of the different animals. Some of them were very strange to be living in a house. So if you want to um, find more about that, just go to Presidential Pets. It's written by Laura Driscoll. It's illustrated by Christian Slade and it's published by Grosset and Dunlap. Oh, so the letter of the day, um, we're going to reinforce it. It's D for dog. And our number of the day is eight. So let's clap again, okay? You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay! And we hope that you have picked up your craft kit for this week. We call them paper pets, and you can make both of them. We thought that, uh, this was a really nice picture of a nice, gentle cat, and it looks like maybe a, a dog that gets into mischievousness, maybe chasing after your socks or something. So you can color it, cut it out, and then we put some little things for to help it stand up and some things that you can feed it and make mm -hmm. a name tag for it. So we thought that was really fun. Meow Meow made one too. John David has kids. Yes, we definitely have our pets out there, right? Yes. So good job, everybody. Those are beautiful. So we hope you've enjoyed all of our, oh, there's the other, oh, look how beautiful. I love it. What fun. What fun. Very good. Your cat and your dog, right? So pretty. Indeed. I like that green cat. Green's my favorite color. Oh, gracious, yes.
Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so we are so excited and hope you've enjoyed all the craft kits we've had this summer. We've definitely enjoyed finding them, researching them, and Annette finding all the photos and things we wanted to do that tied to our themes and putting those craft kits together. So that the kit that we have here is the last one for the summer, which again makes us a little bit sad, but it's time for us to finish up and get ready for school and all the back to school activities. Just a reminder, since this is our last program of the summer, that all of your tickets um, the books you've read need to be logged into the system and your tickets claimed, meaning that you <clears throat> have used your points to put into um, the specific prize that you would like to win. You must have that completed in the system by 1159 Friday night, July 23rd. So make sure you mark your calendar because once it hits 12 o'clock on Saturday, that's all she wrote. So um, also make sure you're putting in all of your um, codes and all of that, that as well. Because tickets for all activities, end of day, 1159, July the 23rd. So um, we also want to remind everybody, because even as sad as summer is when we're finished, we get to have our reading rumpus again this year. So next Tuesday night, we're all going to be at Oaksfield, and we are so excited to see everybody. Bring all of your friends and family. It's an all opportunity for everybody in the community to come out and celebrate reading. So we are going to be seating, seating everyone in the center of the field. So make sure you bring your blankets and your chairs and maybe some bottled water, that sort of thing. So you're nice and comfortable. We're hoping to have some members of our community there um, between 5 and 530 that you can come and look and meet with folks from the community. And then we'll start our first program at 530 for our young readers and then announce wall of prizes. So we'll find out who won all those wonderful prizes we've had up all summer for and you for all of your reading, right? So then we'll have a brief in, inter, um, intermission. And then at about 6.45, we're going to announce the winners of our survey surprise. So we have three surprises that are available for those who complete our survey. If you haven't yet, um, it was sent to you in an email. And it also should have popped up when you logged into the system recently. So make sure that you take that survey because that gives you a separate ticket for the three huge prizes we have from the West Virginia Symphony Orchestra this year. So then at seven o'clock starts our adult but still family friendly activity um, with our same musician doing some songs and entertainment for us. And then we'll announce our adult wallet prizes. So we have a lot of things coming up and we're excited to see everybody. Just because summer reading starts is ending on Friday, we still want you to come and read, read, read with us. We've been getting all kinds of new books and putting them out for you. So there's lots to choose from to read. So as we finish today's program, let's do our closing song. All right, Ms. Olivia. All righty. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Yay! Let's see all those happy library hands. Woo! Yay! We hope you've had fun today. And you know, once we have a library program at South Charleston, we like to end with our famous library cheer. I've got friends up in the northern part of the state that are going to be waiting and you're getting warmed up for Tuesday night because we think they're probably going to hear us all over the place on Tuesday night with everybody doing the library cheer. So is everybody ready? All right, here we're going to count together to three, and then I want to hear library as loud as you can. Meow Meow's ready. Here we go. One, two, three, 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 two, three,